almost there. Oh, I see the heavy guy right there. He's just unloading around that corner. Hello everyone, Blazarch here. Welcome back to some more Armor 3 Custom Battles. So it has been a little bit of a while since my last video. I do apologize. Um, I just wanted to step back for a little bit and do other things and take a little bit of a break from doing Armor 3 Custom Battles. But we are back and we're kicking into high gear. Hopefully you guys are excited. I know I am. So today's video idea was brought to you by a fellow viewer in the comment section down below in a previous video. Remember, if you guys want to have your idea for a future Armor 3 Custom Battles video, let me me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to make it happen also be sure to hit that like button smash it destroy it oh hit it real hard all right and be sure to leave a comment uh, comment down below that you actually enjoyed the video all right let's break it down like we do with every other custom battle what we're gonna do is break it down show what each side is bringing to the table and then we're gonna cut away play each side uh, in this battle and at the very end of the video we're going to talk about who should have won who won stuff like that so yes we're going to have sand people versus clones now obviously i can't have the whole republic army because the sand people would just absolutely lose so the idea for this was as soon as i read it i wanted to have a outpost of some kind for the clones become under attack from sand people like looters they're coming to Kill the clones and take the loot and whatever they can. Kind of like orcs from Warhammer 40k. Because sand people do tend to steal property, loot things, kill people that are all alone. They do do that. So that's why I kind of went with this. All right. And also, clones will not have a lot of support. Um, because obviously I can't just give them all tanks. Because then obviously the clones would win. So I have to make it kind of balanced. All right. So first off, we're going to show what the clones are bringing to the table. So as you can see, they are well fortified. Um, yeah, they're ready to go. We only have three squads of eight, I believe. E yeah, so three squads of eight, not counting me, are going to have to defend this against, well, a lot more. We're outnumbered. I think if I did the math right, it's uh, four to one. Uh, so it's, the clones are definitely outnumbered in this one. And we have the tactical disadvantage we they have the enemy is going to be coming from the high ground as well coming from over here flanking so it should be very interesting um each squad for the clones is made up just like this they have what i'm just using uh sync his uh outfit like this to make him look like a corporal or some type of officer uh leading a group of clones and each one does a heavy ha, does have a heavy trooper i am however not going to be using that no 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 no, no. i want precision we're going to have to take a lot of things down. We do have a lot of sandbags all over the place so we can have some cover because, again, we are outnumbered 4 to 1. We kind of need support. Um, we do have a couple of heavy guns, uh, so some E-webs. Uh, we have one here, one here, and one over here. So pretty good av uh, avenues of approach. I believe we have two kind of looking over this way. This one's more focused up towards here. And this one is definitely aimed towards the mountain. If they start coming this way, this can unload. So we also have, for aesthetic purposes, we have two lats just sitting here for aesthetic purposes, as if these are bring, these are here refueling or whatever. I, I wanted to make it feel more alive. Also, we do have one ATTE, and it's going to be helping out the best it can. I believe this thing can be killed by small arms fire, though it will take a lot. Um, but then again, it only ha it only gun it really has is this one, so it's somewhat balanced. So we'll see how it will go. And so the goal for the clones is just to survive and beat off the attack and survive. That's all the clones have to do to survive uh, to win this match. Um, to lose, well, they all die and the and the sand people get in here and loot the lats because that would be bad if they got heavy ordnance up here. Each squad is exactly the same. So I'm just going to look at one squad. So for the same people, I actually had a bit of a tough time. The reason that is, is because the standard gear they get, other than this gun right here, which is the only blaster of its kind, all the other ones are slug throwers. And they only carry one clip. And that's it. Once they're out, they're done. So I had to get those guys that would have had those sniper-type guns. I gave them the, uh, what did I give them? 
Uh, hang on. Let me just pull it up real quick. I gave these guys the uh, DLT-20A Pulse Rifle. So, I believe if you guys ever played the original Star Wars Battlefront, way back in the day, not the new crappy one, the good one, the, the Sam people actually had these guns as well. So, I thought that was okay. We could give them that. Um, and their job is pretty much to storm the outpost. The way these guys win is to get inside, kill the clones, and that's pretty much it. They take over, they loot everything, and then they're gone. That's it. All right, so that's going to be end of this part. So I'm going to break it off. I'm going to cut away right here, and we'll be right back playing as the clones taking on the Sand People. So go, don't go anywhere, folks. I'll be right back. All right, here we go, playing as the clones, and I'm going to keep it in first person because I do love the hood. And, uh, yeah, let's see how well we can defend this place. Uh, they're going to be popping over that hill in just a moment. Yep, there they are. And this might be a very, very long, uh, uh, strung out battle, or this is going to go really, really quickly. I haven't quite decided yet. We're about to find out. I don't like that. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Take you off. Okay. Well, actually, that was actually much better. So we'll put that back on. All right. A little bit of a crosshair. It's not bad. We'll give it a try. Here they come, boys. Too bad I don't get the aim. Nah, iron sights is better. True men do iron sights. Plus, I can actually zoom in a bit. So, it actually is much better. Alright, clones, remember your duty. Well, you're in a good spot right there, buddy. Good job. There they are. Woo! We're under attack, boys! Oh, I know I have my earplugs in. I'm still going deaf from that. There's so much fire. Man, that A A T T E is certainly taking a lot of beatings. Got one. <laughs> one down, several hundred to go. Best part about the sand people, they're not wearing armor. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Stay alive. Look alive, stay alive. Hey, troopers. Get into the fight, please. Got one. Way up there. I think I got another one. I can't tell. That is really far up there. <laughs> I 
can barely see them. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a drawn out fight. Hey, you know, E-Web, engage something. There we go. Stable platform and engage. Oh, come on, hit what I'm pointing at. Yeah, they're... Sand people are surprisingly hard to see, especially when they're up in the high ground like this. I can barely see them. I know probably a few of you are squinting at your screen right about now, wondering where the hell they are. There's one. I hope. Crap, there's another one. I think I got him. I think I got him. Alright, let's go check the front line. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, don't run next to the gas tank. If it explodes, that would be bad. Looks like the lat's still online. Whoa, dude. Oh, crap. We're starting to be overrun. Man, they are all over us. Practically everybody's dead. Where are they? There's one. I'm not going down without a fight. Got him. Made him bounce. Man, when they're up there, I can't see him. Well, they're almost in the, they're practically at our at the wire, guys. Whoa, okay, nope, that's not a good place to be. Oh crap! Go down like troopers. Okay. 
right, I need to heal myself. Where am I hurt? Oh man, I am so hurt. Put on a field dressing. I don't know. This is a new type of medical system that I really don't like. I'm tempted to just put a freaking morphing in me and just go down like a trooper. I can hear my heartbeat. Yeah, let's get some morphine. All right, let's go down like a trooper. I'm losing a lot of blood. I'm going to go down. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I've ever lost by probably just bleeding out. Yeah. Check pulse. Um, it's freaking about to die. <sighs> you can hear it. Boodle, 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 boodle. I'm dying here. <laughs> it's like I, I practically lost a limb. Fractured. Yeah, there, there, there's a break. And we are just bleeding. So you know what? We're going to go down shooting. I'm going down like a true trooper. I'm going down shooting and I died. <laughs> All right, here we go. Playing as the Tuscan Raiders or the Sand People, however you want to call them. So, yeah, first round is probably going to go to the Sand People because the clone. Well, I died. I killed seven of them because at the end I saw the scoreboard. Um, but pretty much everybody was downed. Uh, the Sand People still had the high ground, and we're still just pulling away at the base. And the AT, uh, ATTE was down, um, and I think there was only like four guys defending the base, and they the, there was easily still half of the invading force still alive. So, first round definitely went to them. Let's see how it goes this time. Getting practically right on top of them. Let's go in uh, third person and watch this. Holy crap. We are lighting that place up. I feel those clones' pain. It sucks being down there, buddies. I know.
It looks like that group over there is starting to attack. So, yeah, the clones are in a really fruit-bar situation. That tank is opening up on the... F well, those guys down there. That was close. I'm in a really bad spot right there. Nah, it's a little better. These guns are not accurate at all. Is that tank still operational? I don't think so. I think we lit it up. Ooh, don't do that. Got him. All right, let's get our butts up there. Get into the fight. All right, looks like we're getting in. All right, keep pushing, boys. We're almost in. I see the heavy guy right there. He's just unloading around that corner. <laughs> I'm so close to the compound. Let's reload since we're like practically here. And let's go to full auto. You know, because close encounters. I have a feeling he wasn't dead. Yeah, he's not dead. He's still holding the weapon. I don't know. That was weird. I'm pretty sure he was still alive, but I'm not sure. I don't have anything like that. I 
I call dibs on the, on the lat, guys. <laughs> it's mine. Um, I'm think that's gonna be a win for for the sand people. Wow, sand people win this one. That's surprisingly. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this round, and yeah, it's definitely gonna go to the sand people. All right, so that's gonna be in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did playing it. And if you guys did, remember to smash and destroy that like button. Leave a comment down below that you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you guys want to have your idea again for a future Army 3 custom battles video, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Um, if you guys want to keep up with me and follow me when I'm posting videos, after you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon. Also, follow me over on Twitter as well as my Discord. Links for those will be in the description down below. Also, over on my Discord, you guys can hang out with me, talk with me, hang out with other YouTubers and other gamers. It's loads of fun. Hopefully, I get to see you guys over there. Before we end this video, I'd like to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys, it really means a lot to me. You guys are going the extra mile to help support the channel for me to bring more awesome content like this for everybody to watch if you guys want to help support the channel every dollar does help there will be a link at the um in the description down below for my patreon as well at the end of the video again remember every dollar does help me bring more awesome content like this so if you do i really appreciate it so till next time thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode take care guys and remember have an awesome day